This is Jean Rubo from the Photoshop team at Adobe. In this video, I will cover the path ordering menu. You can use multiple subpaths to create complex shapes. When Photoshop decides how to render the shape, it looks at the stacking order, or Z order, of the various paths. By default, the stacking order is determined by the order the shapes are drawn. So if I draw two subpaths, the second one is in front of the first one. This mainly comes into play when you start subtracting and intersecting different subpaths. Here is a simple example where I want to subtract one of these subpaths from the other. I drew the right one first and the left one second, so the left one is actually in front of the right one. But if I want to subtract the right one, I need to select it with the path selection tool, go up here and choose subtract front shape. Well, since it's not actually the front shape, I don't get the result I want. So I need to move the subtracted subpath to the front. I can do this by selecting the subpath and it's already selected just by clicking on it with the path selection tool and then going to the path ordering menu and choosing bring shape to front. So now I have the shape I want. So if you aren't getting the results you want when working with multiple subpaths, try moving the subpaths in the stacking order. This may fix your problem. That's how to work with the path ordering menu in Photoshop CS6.